Hey, what's up, gardening friends? I hope everybody's doing okay, and if you're not, that's okay too. Hey, there's Tuck. How you doing, Tuck? Oh, it's so nice of you to show up for the video. Good boy, Tucker. Look at what a mess I've made as I've been trying to get things tidied up out here. This is a last minute video of the other things have to be kind of bored out and I'm avoiding the pretty areas because this will be in this weekend's vlog. And I'm filming this with my phone because it's kind of misty outside and I don't want to get the... Did you... That was a really hard bang there. You okay, Tuck? Just banging your head on the table? Good boy. So the video that I had planned out for today, uh, just it wasn't working. It was like 50 something minutes long and it was all just because... I wanted to have a little bit of a different kind of talk with everyone and it, did, it didn't need to be 50 something minutes long. All the pandemic stuff started happening a month or so ago with all the lockdowns and everything, most of the lockdowns, I started wondering, I was like, how long is it gonna take and for the trolls to start wreaking havoc? And by trolls, I of course mean poor emotional regulators. I don't think it's necessarily fair to break everyone down into being a troll by Tucker. Yeah, typically when I see the hate online, not just through my channel, it's getting bad across all social media platforms. But usually when I see those things, you just see a bee. Don't eat it. Don't, Tucker. Don't eat it. You know better. Don't do that. As I was saying, that I generally feel like those types of comments are coming from people who are going through something or have gone through something. There's usually, I think... A good amount of pain behind hatefulness. So I've been kind of prepared for this. I assumed I'd be making a video of this sort at some point. And this video isn't actually about, we'll call them the trolls. It's not really about them. It's about everybody. Not about plants. Just, let's just have a talk. I try and keep things pretty low-key and lighthearted on the channel. I want this to be an inviting and safe place for everybody. So I tend to not really give those things any attention. It's not worth my time or your time, anybody's time. Uh oh, did I put that pot in your way? Can you make it through? Come on, Tuck, you can do it. Come on, you can do it, come here. Get... Really? Oh, I hate when dogs get old. Okay, I can help you, look at that. Boom, clear path, there you go, good boy. Pardon all the distractions, so having the pets in the video, good thing and a bad thing, because that I'm, I'm extremely easily distracted, as you can tell. Like I said, trying to keep things light here. Not necessarily in this video though, just in all my other videos. I just wanted to reach out and say that it's okay to not be okay. I did all this talking in a different video and it went on forever and I went through and watched it and I was like, eh, who's this really for? There's so much unknown. This is uncharted territory. Nobody knows how to appropriately handle what's going on right now. Well, of course, there are gonna be people where their outlet for their anger, when their balloon gets too full and ready to pop, they're gonna take that out on people online. And uh, I mean, that's better than some other ways, I suppose. It's still not necessary and inappropriate. Always good to find healthy outlets for our issues, right? But we're all human. Nobody does everything the same and that's, that's okay too. I do tend to think of emotion and thresholds kind of like balloons, like I was just saying. You know how when you put too much air in a balloon, it just takes the slightest thing to make it pop. And right now, I think everyone's balloon is overinflated. So uh, everybody's on the edge understandably, myself included, we're all kind of in that same place. And denying ourselves the uh, process of grieving and being sad, angry, like the denial, everything that goes into that isn't helpful. I think that it's good sometimes to find a healthy way to embrace emotion, fears, whatever they may be, and to get it out, again, in a healthy way. For me, that's typically gardening. You know, there are other things that we do. Like I said, some healthy, some not. It is Earth Day. One of my favorite things to do is to be outside in nature, whether, you know, getting my hands down into some soil, feeling the earth, planting things, just enjoying the birds and watching the bees buzz around. Those are things that bring me peace. Meditation, another great way to go. I don't know, just throwing some things out there. It's carry time for everyone, especially uh, you, I have a lot of concern for people out there who maybe already are experiencing higher levels of anxiety and depression and you know a lot of people the home is their safe place but unfortunately for a lot of people that's not the case and maybe going to work was the best time of their day where they felt the safest how are these so i just watered you okay, so apparently this is now a water plants with me while we talk that did you choke yourself 
Why do you do that? This is a new thing that has made watering very frustrating. He has water everywhere out here. I have fountains built just for him to drink out of, but past few days, no, no, he just wants the hose. To uh, whose balloon's full? I know every day is a little bit different for me. I really haven't been in a place where I'm like ready to pop, but like I said, you just don't know what each day is going to bring. Every day is different. We're all very hopeful. I think a lot of us are watching the news a lot, just hoping, you know, there's that glimmer of hope that there's going to be something that we find out to relieve some of what's going on. And hopefully that will be the case. <laughs> I think one of the things that helps me is really this channel makes a big difference for me because it's I try and keep things upbeat. And by doing that, I feel more upbeat. I always try and make sure things are pretty upbeat over here. Why wouldn't they be? I mean, it's gardening stuff going on. There's no reason for things to get dramatic or for there to be rants or anything like that, but especially right now. The video I had originally made for this, I didn't really go into a rant, but I could see how it could like be seen that way and I was just like this is that just seems wildly inappropriate to be putting out anything like that at a time like this right to each his own I'm just saying for me that's not an influence that I want to have so I thought it would be good to just have a designated video where that's not a vlog where I'm doing a bunch of other things and then out of nowhere I'm just going to start talking about something that's you know more negative but very real so here we are like I said I hope everybody's doing okay, and if you're not, that's okay too. All that stuff on this hibiscus, that's sawdust, if you were wondering. More on that in this weekend's vlog. So, you know, it's a two-way street. Hopefully, I can make videos, not necessarily this one, but all the others. That'll help brighten people's day a little bit. Take your mind off of things for a while, and uh, I, in return, I feel better too. It helps a lot. So, thank you everyone for all those of you who are so kind and positive. I'm talked about that in the last vlog. I appreciate it. That's a contagious thing and I think it's really important that that's something we all spread around to everyone right now. It's love and positivity and uh, a higher level of understanding. A little bit more of elasticity, right? I think we all need to be a little bit extra forgiving as long as, you know, we're safe and being respected, of course. For the most part, I think that people are being more understanding and forgiving of everybody, which is fantastic. That's really, really, really important right now. And to kind of drop down the BS of we all have to agree to get along. That's ridiculous. This isn't the time for that. We're all going through something together. Did you just go swimming? It's like 65 degrees out. The Toby Potamus, he loves water. <laughs> See? So easily distracted by the dogs. And uh, down in the description of this video, I'm going to link some free hotlines if anybody who's seen these videos needs someone to talk to. The crisis hotlines, you don't have to be in like a horrible crisis to call these places. It's free, they're trained professionals, their job is to listen. Sometimes it's helpful to talk to a stranger as opposed to someone you know. Sometimes that's easier for people. No shame in it. It's not a sign of weakness. It takes a lot of strength to go ahead and take the steps to work through a, an emotional dilemma, psychological dilemma, whatever's going on, that's something that takes a lot of inner power. So nothing to be ashamed of. The hotlines are down there. If you need them, use them, share them with other people. They're for the US. I don't know uh, what's available in other countries. I know a lot of viewers on this channel do live in other countries. If you have any information on a place or service that might be useful to people who do need someone to talk to, who might need some help, then it would be fantastic if you could leave that down in the comments. And when I see those, I'll go ahead and try and put them together and pin them to the top of the comments for people. I had said in previous videos that I am, a, I mean, I always try and keep things upbeat over here, but I was especially going to do my best with that, with what's going on right now. But there's just been that little cloud over my head, this like looming doubt where I'm like, but I feel like this is something that we need to talk about. And here we are. We talked about it. The resources are below. I really hope if anybody needs them, they'll use them. So what are some things you guys do to kind of deflate your balloon? Meditation, puzzles, exercise, hanging out with your pets, watching YouTube videos, video games. That there's so many options out there. Crying, have you been crying? Go ahead, you feel like you need to cry? Go ahead and let it out, no one's judging. It serves a purpose. We have that emotional response for a reason. Nothing weak about it at all. I mean, I've had a few moments myself. My baby sister's a doctor and I am constantly worried about her. Which I'm sure we all know someone who's out there working right now and it's scary. It's really scary. So I'm sure everybody can relate to that 
emotion, right? Okay, that's enough of all that. And like I say at the end of every video, I hope everybody's doing well. And if you're not, where is it? Things are mirrored. If you're not, that's okay. Get through it, stronger than you know. Together, it's something we'll all get through and hopefully be much, much, much stronger as an outcome. Hotlines and resources are down below. And like I said, people in other countries outside the US, or I mean, if you're in the US and you just know of good resources, put it down there in the comments. I would appreciate it. That could be something that's really useful for who knows how many people. It's normal to have our moments. It's okay. And I promise I won't be making a habit out of these sorts of things. This is just a one-time video. Like I said, I think it needed its own thing. Again, thank you and I appreciate all y'all positive loving people out there who are putting out good vibes and helping to keep that momentum. It's a very contagious thing and it's the best contagious thing we have right now. Love and positivity. Can't beat it. And of course a big thanks to all the essentials out there. Everybody who's still out there working even though it's incredibly dangerous. Doctors, healthcare workers, cashiers, Instacart people, all y'all. Thank you. Thank you so so much. Oh and I've been talking a little bit quietly and that's only because there's construction going on back there in the other yard and there's like nine people on the other side of my fence who have been watching me do this the entire time. Uh, so uh, it would be a good time to have a more of an upbeat uh, mood, but it's, I mean, I mean, how upbeat can this topic really be? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you again to everybody out there. I appreciate you. You're doing fantastic. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.